Hello, I'm George Hayes, and this video is primarily so I can demonstrate this little program I'm about to show you right now. Alright, there it is. It's a program I created that generates a procedural map, and I'm not really wanting to show the source code right now because I'm hoping to put out my own game using it. Yeah, it probably won't be that expensive a game, but at least it will be money coming into my pocket, which I don't have a lot of right now. And what's great about this procedure is, well, if you look at the number of procedures that are online, ones that generate maps this large are generally pretty slow. All right. Or they generate, you know, after you got to an area, they choose and pick out a new room and stuff like that. Or they use predetermined content such as rooms of a certain size shape and there's all sorts of things well this map has none of that all the rooms are randomly generated the random sizes everything else random wall random floor all right where they're connected to is random how they're connected and so on all right and it does it really quick <laughs> I gotta say and I tried a number of procedures before I got to this point and then I just happened to think of one and I was looking at a video as far as it you know was something not exactly related to this and I managed to figure out how to connect them together because you get two primary issues if you go to throw down just a random number of rooms into an area you'd be amazed how many times those rooms end up on top of each other and you'll be amazed you could have a thousand collisions in a row before you ever get a room down once you get up to like 30 percent you know you hit 30 percent barrier and you're you're pushing tons of collisions on top of each other so it's not even worth trying that method all right now here i'm at 200 by 200 room block or dungeon area and i dropped in roughly 260 to 270 rooms 260 right there all right and hit it again and we're back up with another map and look at how many is in it 264 all right so the thing about it is that the point here is just because something isn't necessarily related to what you think it should be doesn't mean if you do a little bit of modification be a little bit creative that you can't make it work for what you want in this case that's what happened for me here I managed to actually take something that wasn't intended for what I was doing pretty much twice in a row uh, once for actually generating the rooms and the second time for actually connecting the rooms and there are two different procedures not exactly designed for you know procedural rooms and dungeons and stuff like that <laughs> and worked out pretty good I think uh, but that's my opinion anyway I just thought I'd show you guys if you like the idea anyway great uh, anyway, I hope to uh, try and actually put make use of this and put it into some sort of like 2D dungeon crawler game or something like that. I know it can actually convert it to 3D as well and or use the procedures I came up with for this to go to 3D as well. So create 3D maps with it, which is pretty awesome because that will mean some pretty large 3d dungeon maps as far as underground and they won't have to necessarily be flat 2d like this as far as in a 3d environment they can actually have up and down and stuff too so anyway i hope you guys uh like the video and take the time to think about you know what you're seeing sometimes it may not necessarily be what you're actually looking for but, you know, maybe you can modify it and then make it work. Because that's what I did here. And anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.